The Noctua NH-L12S is a low-profile CPU cooler that is available for around 49 US dollars, give or take, depending on where you get it from and if there are stocks available. The main purpose of the NH-L12S is to offer a low-profile cooling solution that is also effective. The cooler has a height of just 70mm and a total weight of 520 grams with the fan installed. The NH-L12S uses a single 120mm fan that has a minimum speed of 450 rpm and a maximum speed of 1850 rpm, without the usage of a low noise adapter. This fan is the Noctua NF-A12X 15PWM and comes equipped with all the bells and whistles found on high-end Noctua fans. We are talking about rubber pads on all corners of the fan frame, the Noctua SSO2 bearing system and impellers that are designed to deliver as much static pressure as possible. This fan is also part of the new series of fans that has a gap between the tip of the blades and the inner side of the frame of just 0.5mm to increase that static pressure even more. The heatsink itself is rather small and uses a total of 4 heat pipes, each with a standard outer diameter of 6mm. The heatsink also has approximately 57 aluminium made fins which help with the heat dissipation. At the top of the heatsink you can see 3 spaces carved into each aluminium fin. The only purpose served by these spaces is to allow easy access of the screwdriver to the three screws that are below the heatsink and keep the mounting system attached to the cooler and the backplate. The endings of the heat pipes are thankfully really well made and symmetrical. I say this as it is notorious for heat pipes to have their endings not really that well done and just covered by plastic or metal caps. In the case of this cooler, they are nicely done and can easily become part of the overall design of this cooler. The base of the cooler is made from nickel plated copper just like the four heat pipes. The base itself has a smooth finish with a sunburst pattern etched into it. The way heat is transferred between the base plate and the four heat pipes is through directly soldering the heat pipes to the base plate, a thing which can be easily spotted on the side of the cooler. The accessories are plentiful and as usual these are placed in their own cardboard box which also tells you what accessories are included, their model number and the number of parts. And let me tell you something, once you lose a tiny screw one time, you will appreciate someone printing out exactly how many pieces were included in the first place. In terms of accessories, you get the user manual which is printed in multiple versions, each version addressing a particular platform. You also have a metallic backplate which when installed at the back of the motherboard will help with the weight distribution of the cooler over the CPU socket. Then a single tube of NTH1 thermal compound is included alongside a metallic Phillips screwdriver, a metallic badge and a low speed noise adapter. Obviously you also have the components for the mounting system but those are the same for most Noctua coolers that use the same mounting system. After the cooler is installed you get a general idea of how little space the NHL12S really takes up. In my case the cooler is installed with the heat pipe endings pointing up and the aluminium fins oriented horizontally so the airflow of the case can move the hot air faster from the cooler. In terms of clearance there is plenty of space for the graphics card and good enough space for the RAM slots. While in my case the fan touches the first RAM module and covers the first RAM slot of the motherboard, this can be addressed easily by installing the fan on the top of the heatsink and thus increasing the RAM clearance. However, I am testing all coolers in their default configuration so in my case it makes a bit of contact with the RAM stick. Nevertheless, the clearance is good all things considered. Before we get into the testing of the CPU cooler, we have a noise sample of how the cooler sounds like starting with the fan spinning at 50% of its maximum speed. I am starting the fan at 50% as below that the fan itself is not making any noise that can be recorded by the microphone.
With the fan at its maximum speed of 1850 rpm, the cooler reached a maximum noise level of 39 decibels, as usual measured at a distance of 10 cm away from the system. Fortunately, there are no unwanted noises, especially at low speeds. This is mainly due to the SSO Mark II bearing system and of the complex design of the fan which not only reduces the overall sound generated by the cooler, but also increases the static pressure. This little CPU cooler has a maximum cooling capacity of 95 watts of TDP, so the Intel i9-9900K should pose some challenges when testing it. As always, the testing is done inside a regular computer chassis with multiple fans spinning at their maximum RPM just as the CPU fan does. This is done each review to ensure maximum airflow is being offered to the tested CPU cooler. I do not use a test bench as this is not reflecting of a real world scenario when the system is inside the chassis and obstructions are in front of the airflow. The cooling tests are done using two pieces of software and the Intel i9-9900K CPU running at both the factory frequency and then being overclocked manually to 5 GHz on all cores. The first test involves the Intel BurnTest V2 software, which offers a typical CPU load that can be often found in modern video games, and in this test, the Noctua NHL12S reached a maximum temperature of 89 degrees Celsius, with the ambiental temperature at a constant 26 degrees Celsius. The next test involves the usage of IDA64 and its FPU stability testing, and in this test, as it was expected, the NHL12S was not able to properly cool an overclocked 9900K CPU and it began to throttle. This is why Noctua does not recommend such CPU coolers for CPUs that have the power draw and overclocking potential as the 9900K. The Noctua NHL12S is designed to offer a good cooling while also being silent and having a small footprint, and it does that with ease, especially when we look at the overall dimensions of the heatsink and the number of heat pipes. The cooler, while it will handle an i9-9900K CPU at the factory frequency, overclocking should not be attempted at all, as the CPU will soon start to throttle. This is the main reason why Noctua does not recommend the usage of this CPU cooler and many others that are in the same size bracket to be used with CPUs that have a higher TDP of 95 watts. Nevertheless, I did it and it proved that the NHL12S will offer a good cooling and it is ideal for a small form factor system. The installation is very easy thanks to Noctua's mounting system which has been refined with each revision. And also because this cooler is so small and thus access to all screws is done with ease. Also in terms of sound, the included Noctua NFA12X15 PWM is silent and has no unwanted noises, such as vibrations being passed on into the system or bearing noises. In addition, if you want, you can make it even quieter if you use the included low noise adapter. If you like this review, perhaps you can consider subscribing for more and if you want for some reason to support this channel directly, then in the description below you can find both the Patreon and Subscriber Star pages.